Well, we are living through a pandemic. It is extremely important to keep your mental health in check. The isolation, uncertainty and stress, it can really add up and not just for you, but also for your children. So we want to take a look at some of the symptoms of a mental health disorder. Pay attention to their behavior. Is your child always crying or sad for days, if not weeks at a time? Maybe they're avoiding social interactions or they're feeling extremely irritable. Also look at their eating habits or how they're sleeping. Any drastic changes in mood or concentration could also be a hint that it's time to see someone. Kids need to talk about bad feelings as much as they talk about good feelings. Worry helps us figure out how to problem solve, how to make small steps to make ourselves feel better so that we feel more secure. When our kids are sad or when our kids are worried, the best thing that we can do is acknowledge that they're feeling that way, share times that we are also feeling that way, and guess what, it's probably right now too. Dr. Katie Hopkins, a pediatric psychologist with Norton Children's, says you don't always need a therapist. She says to make sure your children are sticking to a routine filled with good eating habits, exercise, and enough sleep. She says our pre-K kids should get 12 hours of sleep. Elementary students, 10 to 11, and high school students, they need at least nine hours. See you calculating how much does my child sleep, right? All the time I ask parents, how much does your child sleep? And they're like, oh, they're a great sleeper, eight hours, solid. And I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> we got to get more sleep there. Dr. Hopkins says the majority of her patients struggle most when there isn't a schedule. She sees all of them through the telehealth these days, and there are some added benefits to it compared to in-person therapy. She says most children and their parents appreciate not having to leave their homes during the pandemic, and they also do better when they're in their own environment, when they're comfortable.